My name is Jacqueline Anderson. I am the lead infant teacher here at the YMCA of the Coastal Georgia on Habersham Street in Savannah, Georgia. So I came to the Y as well because I was looking for some place I know my kids could come at and they could actually Then when learn. COVID started, I was scared because I'm like, well, I'm back at point A again. No daycare, no babysitter. It's not going to be affordable no more. I have three little ones. So then I was like, I kind of like the fact that the YMCA did offer scholarships and I was like, okay, I can keep her here because that means I have affordable childcare so I will still be able to work. So I filled out that scholarship form and I turned it back in and when I got those rates, I'm like, whoa, this is affordable. I can afford this. My kids can come here. I don't have to worry about trying to get off work early to go, to go nowhere and get them. My daughter in the one-year-old room, she's definitely learning a whole lot. So thanks to her teacher. My kids over in E-Camp, they're, they're doing their work. They're getting that social skill out. They've made new friends. They love all the teachers over there as well. So I think this was a very good decision for me as well. My kids are benefiting from it a lot. My baby walks on and says woof woof every time she sees a dog. Because I've been in childcare for now going on seven years. So I've dealt with birth up to five years old. I've got PSI, special education. I got a lot. <laughs> Well, so my primary goal, I feel like from birth up until the time they leave me, they can still be up until 15 months old. And by that time, I feel like it's milestones that should be reached. At some point, um, the child must participate in tummy time. Tummy time will help build those skills so they can build enough muscles where they're able to push themselves up, begin to crawl, and get them moving. So once they get them moving, then as we work on self-feeding and sitting up, because those are the next stages. So after they grasp the self self-feeding and actually sitting up on their own, and we're crawling, then we move on to those motor skills and we're moving, chugging right along. We're trying to point for stuff that we want instead of crying all day. We're also trying to um, mimic faces. So if I smile at you, you smile back. If I lick my tongue, you lick your tongue. It's just a lot and I just love to watch them grow. Have story time so I do read to them at least twice a day we do have music and I sing to them as well we do a lot of one-on-one -on -one play time since I'm down with low numbers now so I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one play time I'm always on the floor playing with them so I'm never like up looking down on them like hey do this <laughs> I'm actually down there doing it with them we color we do crafts so the first moments um, that I do capture for parents such as self-feeding, crawling, walking, pulling up, rolling over. I try to make sure I send pictures of those to mom. I send lots of videos. So if mom's like, oh, he's not laughing at home, I send plenty of videos like, look, there's little Marcus, he's laughing. Look, there's little Elena, she's rolling over. So any milestones that mama is not seeing, mom and dad isn't seeing at home or they're wondering about in school, I keep them updated as well. I say I keep in contact a lot throughout the day. I'm introducing myself. I'm letting you know who I am, what I'm doing with your child, what hours I'll be with your child, what what are my expectations for your child by the time they leave my room and go up to the one year old room and how can we work together. And if you're not also letting know if you have any questions, comments or concerns, I'm always available. Just let me know. Thank <laughs> you.